Hey guys, John here from the Reaper blog, playing around with some sound design stuff today. And I wanted to hear my sounds faster and slower. And I realized that if I'm changing the item length like this, changing the play rate by stretching the item, my automation doesn't go along with it. So I had a little think and realized that by using the project's play rate settings along with tempo changes, I can do what I need. So this project's at 120 beats per minute open up the project settings and look at the time base for items, envelopes, markers. So this is a good situation where we want position, length, and rate instead of time or instead of position only. And click OK here. So I'm going to play the sound and let's try it faster and slower by adding in some tempo changes. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to right click in the ruler and choose insert tempo slash time signature marker. Uh, I'm just going to put it in the default one and then I'll use the mouse wheel over the tempo indicator here. And let's drag down to get this down to like, let's do 64, 65. And you can see that the automation moved along with it. The grid spread out, the item spread out, and the automation followed. Great, that sounds good slower as well. And let's try it at 160 beats per minute. And at 300. Now let's bring this back down to 120. I'm going to click here and open up item properties and uncheck this option, preserve pitch when changing rate. Click OK. And now when I'm changing the tempo, it's going to raise and lower the pitch as well. So put this at 80, and now this pitch is seven semitones lower. Set this down to 40. It's now 19 semitones lower. It's also a lot longer. Let's hear this. And let's go the other extreme. Let's go 200 beats per minute. That's that is eight semitones up. Very cool. One other thing I wanted to show you is that if you wanted to change the tempo within the middle of an item, just adding in the tempo change, it's going to move our automation, but it's not going to uh, stretch the item correctly. So what we need to do is put in a stretch marker like that. I do command click. That's a custom mouse modifier that I set up, but you could always right click and stretch markers, add stretch marker at cursor. So anyway, now that there's a stretch marker there, you can adjust this tempo and it's going to suddenly drop down the, uh, the speed, but our automation followed and everything should be good. In case you're wondering what this sounds like to begin with, here's the original clip. I thought this was pretty cool. It's a solution that I hadn't seen before. I haven't seen anyone talk about this kind of stuff. And for sound design, I think this is a really helpful thing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and visit reaperblog.net for more tutorials.